a good friend of mine who's <laughs> had a very soggy night last night. Yeah. Ten years broadcasting the forecast of the nation. Adds Good Morning Britain, Laura Tobin. Uh, happy birthday, 10th birthday. Thank you were there, you day so one. Well, of course. It's been quite a journey. Uh, I, just, I just said, we were out last night and it literally was the question that everybody was coming up to me <laughs> asking. Laura, when's it going to warm up? When's it going to stop raining? The problem is... But I was going through all the stats thinking, mm. how bad has it been? Is it really that mm. bad? And we actually haven't had, like, huge amounts of record-breaking rainfall. We've just had consistent amounts of rain. So April okay. has rained every single day. We've had about 100 and so more, but not a lot more. But spring, we've basically had all of our spring rainfall and we have one more month. To the last 18 months have been the wettest 18 months that we have ever had in the UK. Really? With the consistency of rain, 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 rain. It does. The problem is, actually, temperatures are just a little above average. It's just been cloudy. It's been really dull. So most of spring, we've had about 70% of our sunshine. And I think if you don't have the sunshine, then it makes it feel that much colder and more disappointing. So April should actually be April showers. Yeah. Sun, shower, sun, mm. shower. It's been cloudy, it's been rainy. Has Dean let you... We, no, we're not allowed that heating on. <laughs> no way. Laura's Extra husband flat. and I sat in the garden and thought, right. And weekend. That's but right. if you cast your minds back, 2020, 2020 in lockdown, yeah. that was the sunniest April we have ever recorded mm. and we have had half the amount of... Visit, vividly, that yeah. you think that... Exactly. So where was that right? So, I have a lovely graphic to show you. Okay. So <laughs> you love it's graphic. It's all <laughs> down to the jet and it will warm up. So I can bring you warmer, I can bring you 20 degrees on Thursday and Friday, wow. but also I bring rain. Oh. It's still not stopping. You can't have it all. She giveth and she taketh away. You can't away. have it all. It's going to run out of rain at some point. Does it not? Surely. I mean, at some point, surely the clouds can't be full again. The problem is, if the jet stream doesn't move and it stays with us, we just keep that. So the three-month outlook is for warmer than average and wetter than average. Well, 90% of the mind? time. And we're going to get a definitive answer <laughs> on when the warmer weather will be here. To do that, we're turning to the tried and tested method of predicting the future with asparagus. Uh, and thank you for having me back. A quick question. Asparagus, I have to say, is the final prize by that crown heads of Europe in the Middle Ages. They used to send... Predictive qualities. Yes. <laughs> uh, how long have you been doing this, just to remind everybody? <sighs> it's asparagus. You know what children are like? You grab a handful, it falls out of your fingers, and the rest is history. But there was, uh, there was I think, I'm right in saying, in the family, there is one of your aunts... However, <laughs> uh, the asparagus here is... Ooh. So, from late August through September, but interesting, you can see sort of the flow. The, yeah, the flow is on September, though, for warm weather. Well, it will warm up, but it okay. won't be it won't hot. be as hot, hot, hot. Can you uh, quickly before we I, forecast? I get please. the weather right sometimes, Ben. Yeah, <laughs> but not as often as Jemima. Jemima, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, My ladies. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.